Dear friends, welcome to the next problem of belt drive, problem number 11. The data of the problem is like this. A belt having a cross section of 100 mm into 10 mm transmits maximum power with an angle of lap of 160 degree on the smaller pulley. The density of the belt material is 1000 kg per meter cube and the coefficient of friction is 0.25. The permissible tension in the belt is 1.5 Newton per millimeter square. Determine the maximum power transmitted by the belt. Friends, let us note down the given data in the problem. The width of the belt is given B is equal to 100 millimeter equal to 0.1 meter. Thickness of the belt is given 10 millimeter equal to 0 0.01 meter. Angle of lap theta is given 160 degree. And the mass density of the belt material rho is given 1000 kilogram per meter cube. Coefficient of friction is 0 0.25 and maximum tension belt can carry is 1.5 Newton per millimeter square. We have to find out the maximum power being transmitted. Friends, we know that the maximum power transmitted by belt is given by P max is equal to difference of two friction tensions tight side tension T1 minus slack side tension T2 into maximum velocity of belt. And the maximum tension the belt carries while power transmission is T and is given by T is equal to maximum tension belt can carries per cross sectional area divided multiplied by cross sectional area that is f into b into t so on substitution of values t is equal to 1.5 that is f into 100 that is b into 10 that is t is equal to 1500 newton Now, we know that when the maximum power is transmitted, the tension on tight side T1 is equal to 2 by 3 maximum tension T. Upon substitution of value maximum tension T, we found T1 equal to 2 by 3 into 1500. On calculation, the tight side tension T1 is equal to 1000 Newton. Again, we know that the ratio of tight side tension T1 to the slack side tension T2 is equal to E raised to mu theta, where theta is a lap angle measured in radian. So, as theta is given is equal to 160 degree, we can write is equal to 160 into pi divided by 180 is equal to 2.79 radian. Hence, substituting the values in above equation, we find T1 upon T2 is equal to e raised to mu theta is equal to e raised to mu is equal to 0 0.25 into theta is equal to 2.79. On calculation, we found <coughs> T1 upon T2 is equal to 2.01. Hence, rearranging the terms, T2 is equal to T1 upon 2.01. Substituting the values of T1 is equal to 1000 
divided by 2.01 so on calculation we found t2 tension on slack side is equal to 497.51 newton now the maximum velocity of the belt is given by v max is equal to under root into t that is maximum tension divided by 3 into m where m is mass of belt per unit length and it can be written like this that is m is equal to mass of belt per unit volume into cross sectional area but mass of belt per unit volume is nothing but mass density so m becomes equal to mass density into cross sectional area and we can write that is equal to rho into b into t on substitution of values m is equal to 1000 that is the mass density of belt material into 0.1 that is width of the belt into 0.01 that is thickness of the belt we found m is equal to 1 kilogram per meter so we can write that v max velocity maximum is equal to under root of t upon 3 m on substitution of values equal to under root 1500 divided by 3 into 1 on calculation we found maximum velocity of the belt v max is equal to 22.36 meter per second so using relation 1 we can write maximum power transmitted by belt p max equal to t1 minus t2 into v max so on substitution of values equal to 1000 minus 497.51 into 22.36 that gives us 11235.67 watt and hence power, maximum power transmitted is 11.236 kilowatt so we can write the maximum power transmitted is 11.236 kilowatt thank you friends